What is up, boys and girls? Bringing back some more Skarner support. We played our first game on it earlier today, and it went it went pretty well. Now, now I'm properly warmed up on it. I kind of understand what you should be going for, what you should be building, the plays you should be going for. Uh, basically, we're going to be running Phase Rush. We're going to be harassing them with our Q in lane by poking them with our Rock, our Emotional Support Rock. And then if Galio ever basically, we're against the Galio support, if he ever misses his dash or, you know, misuses his abilities, that's when we're just going to E straight beeline for Jinx. They're going to be over pushing here though. They're, they're, they actually like hard over push this. I'm okay with this. Rock. <laughs> Like I said, we're just uh, poking with Q. It actually does a decent amount of damage, and it's pretty easy to land. It's got a nice splash damage to it. Yeah, man, like, look how cool looking this champion is. I, I straight up look like a kaiju from Pacific Rim. Very cool. Once you get used to um, how he feels as well, it, I think they did a good job at, like, making his abilities feel powerful. That's not bad. We could actually fight this. We could actually fight. You can go, you can go, you can go, you can go. Hmm. She never stopped autoing them. I think we could have, like, actually blown their flash there. Yeah, like, look at the poke, bro. It's actually, like, kind of nuts. Your W has a massive, massive range as well. So you can use it to push the wave. Prep minions. A little bit of harass, and I want—I want to consider it a poke ability like Q is, but all right. If they—if they line themselves up, oh, I think we go for this. Oh my God, we got to kill with the rock. Let's freaking go. Yeah, they—they they need to be watching out for that man. If they give me like a direct line, throw them into the wall. Not bad, not bad. We can dive this too. I want to dive. That's so funny. My E just runs straight through him. Don't get taunted under turret. Hey, let's go, baby. Skarner, Skar, Skarner. Uh, we need to push this, bro. Hey, man. Why are you not pushing the wave? Crash it? I- how? What do you mean, crash it, bro? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> My ass just griefed me. It's fine. We got Jinx's uh, ghost there. Kind of nice. All right, uh, against this team, do I need Merc Treads or... Nah, prob probably Plated Steel Caps. And then we're just going to be going for Heart Steel. All right, we'll, we'll do a very, very quick overview on Skarner's kit, just in case you don't know what it is. His passive is very unimaginative. It's a three-hit passive that applies max health da max uh, magic damage. So if I hit people three times, whether just with abilities or auto attacks... It burns their health bar. It doesn't all come out at once. It's a burn. Uh, my Q, as you've seen, I pull a boulder out of the ground and I can either auto attack three times with it or recast to throw a rock. My W is just this nice fluid... Uh-oh. Bye. Okay. No, 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 no. I have to dodge this. I have to dodge this. Scary. Yeah, so I can either do a three-hit pass with the uh, the Q or just uh, recast it to throw it. My E, as you just saw, it goes through the wall, and I can also... Uh... Shoot, I missed my rock. You can also stun people against the wall with it. Oh, my W also gives a shield, which is kind of nice. Get on the wall. Easy. It is hard over chased.
Um, I think I can. I, I think I'm good to take a reset, and then I'll go to Grubs as well. So full runes, guys. Uh oh, and then the ultimate is just like old Scanner ultimate, except you can. It's a skill shot now. It's not instant. It's more range. You don't have to walk all the way up to them. And then also you can grab up to three people, which is pretty nice for team fights. But I will say it's hard to land. It's it's very dodgeable, and it's kind of hard to land because it has a wind up and cast time, and it's got a weird hitbox too. You'll see it when I use it. But yeah, there's basically two rune pages that I think are genuinely viable on Skarner. We got a Conqueror rune page and then a Phase Rush. So we got Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, Water Walking, Tenacity, Triumph, uh, AD. Hold on. Do we have this guy? Okay, nice. I think we leave this guy's wave and we just go for his, uh, go for Grubbies here. Galio's bot, so we should have support gap. I think he's going to have relatively strong uh, roams. This is one of the rare supports that I think you should actually like DPS objectives with. He's got pretty good DPS, especially for Grubs. He's got two AoEs. So typically when I roam for Grubs, I just let the jungler uh, solo it and I like post up in a bush, right? But I do good damage to this. Very good damage, actually. I'm coming mid. I'm coming mid. Does she have flash? Does, but she didn't use it right. Hmm. This would be pretty hard to do anything here. I think I'm just gonna get the XP. Boom. Can we drag? Ah, uh, I think they're on dragon right now, bro. Maybe they're not though. Hawk shot. I'm starting to fall behind a little bit in XP. Oh. I think I'm just going to go in. Beautiful. I'm going to die to Wukong here. Absolutely going to die to Wukong, but my team should be able to clean up this. Focus the Kong. Focus the monkey. Focus the monkey. There we go, baby. Hey, I am more than okay with that, guys. We go in, we start the play. We know we're getting a huge, huge collapse. So we're proactive about it, you know? Sweet. So yeah, apparently my E takes priority over Galio E. Like Galio keeps trying to smash into me, right? And I'm just, I just ignore him and throw him straight into the wall. Which is weird because I played against a Shin earlier and it didn't have that same, like the Shin taunt taunted me out of my E. So it's kind of weird, I guess, like the way that it prioritizes which spells go through. It's not very consistent. Rock. All right, same play. They walk through here. I'm just going to E him into the wall. Hello. On that wall. Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy, because I even dodged. They're going to get me here, I think. Oh, they're splitting their damage. Oh my god. Rock. Wall. <laughs> Dude, that was a huge misplay by them. They should have had me dead to rights, but they wanted both of us. So they split their damage. Big, big mistake. Slow. I'm going to E him. Wall. <laughs> I love this, bro. Alright. I need 100 gold. Also, your Q damages turrets. It does the bonus damage on them. So, always use your Q if you're pushing for turret. I'm going to drop a ward in every bush before I back. Counter ganking, yeah. That was good. That was good. That was very good. Again, what the enemy team should have done is just kill me. But instead, they wanted both of us. Classic mistake. Alright, I am very close to level 6, guys. I have 9 KP by level 5. That's insane. Got 30 seconds on Ash Arrow. 
Now, Scarter's E is like most effective if you can use it to kind of find, uh, whoops. You can use it to kind of find, um, ambushes. Like go going through the wall. I don't think they actually get vision of you when you're going through the wall. So you're on top of them. Oh, did I not get my tier list command set up? I'll do that after the game, guys. My bad. We have a new tier list out. Boom. 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 She's wanting to cheese him. I like this. I like this. Dude, it's usually the other way around. The ADC stays hitting the turret, but this will work. This will work. I'm I'm with you, bro. I see the I see this vision, Ash, and I like it a lot. Hmm. Too far. All right, they are heavily fighting top. W is a really great trading tool as well because it just gives you an instant shield. Front row. Where are you, Jinxie? Don't tell me she afk Nope, she's just way back there. She's afraid of the rock! That's so funny. She thought she was playing safe there too. <laughs> not, not safe enough. All right, we got 30 seconds on dragon. I'm gonna go back. Uh, this is wanting me to get hollow radiance. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think I'd go sunfire aegis. I'm pretty sure hollow radiance might be the worst item in the game. Yeah, it's actually like crazy dive potential with this champ because they can't hide behind their turret. You can just literally eat through it. Dun, 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 dun. Look at me. We dive. Come on, Heartsteel. Threw a rock at him. All right, as for support items, I think we're going to go Blood Song. Actually, these guys are dead, aren't they? No. Nope. On that wall. Oh my god. Uh, I think I think Solstice Slay is probably better for support item, but I'm going to go Blood Song this game just because we're like so insanely snowballed. Yeah, Bloodsong did get like a very, very heavy nerf this patch, and he doesn't have very good base AD. But you know what, guys? I just want to do. I just want to do more damage. Fuck. Go kill this volley bear. Let's really, let's really break his spirit because he's the he's the only winning lane right now. So he's gonna be really pissed when I come kill him. Fine, we still killed him with a rock. But yeah, like I just showed you guys, the ult is very easy to miss. You have to like really spam your art R key like right after you throw him on the wall. You, you really can't like space it out at all. How much shield do you get from your W? That is a 250 plus 9% of your bonus health shield. Uh, dang, I thought I thought help was coming faster. It's my bad. All right, we still get him. Boom! Get the assist. I think we. Okay, we should win now. So let's miss the Z two. You flash while you have them in W to make them hit a wall. Yes, you can. 
So you can't R flash. You cannot start charging your R and then flash it onto them instantly. You have to flash R, it's, which means it's always dodgeable. Uh, but you can, I've seen a TikTok of someone E flashing and it's really, really buggy looking. Like it doesn't, like it, they might've even patched out by now, honestly, because it doesn't look like it belongs in the game. But apparently you can E flash. Get on that wall for us, buddy. Get the ignite out early because this champion heals so much. Bye bye. So yeah, now at this point, like I'm just like a vicious pet scorpion for my team. My scorpion tax there. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm super. Oh, he, oh, so that's how that feels. <laughs> All right, not the worst. So you are tanky, but like you're not that. Le you don't have the regen or the sustain of other tanks. You don't have like a drain tank as like um, gameplay style to you. So you're not like you don't have survive. You're tanky. You just don't have survivability. If that makes sense. You're not like Swain, where you have to burst this guy down. You're not like Volley Bear, where you're gonna take a chunk out of someone and get half your health bar back. Very, very, very inherently tanky, but like that, once that health's gone, it's not coming back. Oh, Revan, I understand what you're asking now. So you, you're mixing up my W and my E. Once you have them in your clutches of E, you cannot flash. I don't even think you can flash during E. All right, the blood song is definitely not the way to go. By the way, guys, should have gone Solstice Slay for sure. An enemy has been slain. Your team has destroyed All right, I think at this point we just go absolutely nuts. Get the get the get his celestial opposition. Oh. Boom! Boom! Definitely can't end it, so let's, let's, I guess let's just go set up for dragon. Kind of took a pretty early inhibitor, not gonna lie. Stay with me, Ash. They do drag. I need, I need someone to be with me here. Some, someone will fa face check into this. Oh, you guys could have gone and done good drag. Y'all are just gonna scare him. You're scaring him. I'm in there, boys. I'm in there, boys. I'm in there, boys. Penta? No! Oh, they took my Penta, bro! That was it! That was literally the Penta. Yo, that was pretty insane, though. So, as you can tell, the absolute best way to fight, or best place to fight as Skarner, is in the jungle. It makes it so you can't miss your E. It makes it so your E get, gets the stun off so much sooner. Nice, close, congested area so that your AoE just really devastates their team. I got like a two or three man ulti there. Should have given the Penta, bro. Would have been funny. Guys, I feel like Pintas, like, cor correct me if this is different for you guys, but I feel like nobody gives Pintas anymore. Like, when someone on my team, as long as they haven't been, like, a total dick and, like, flamed the entire game, if someone on my team has, like, a triple or quadra, like, bro, I try to get them the Pinta. But now it's, like, I don't know. It used to be, like, a victory for the whole team if someone got a Pinta. But now it's, like, people go out of their way to steal it. Like, that, that fight was completely won. Like, uh, not just let us get the penta. Just my thoughts. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just salty. I didn't get the Penta. Ooh. Let's kind of kiten this out. Got ulti in five. Looking pretty bad for them. Uh, oh, I, I'm out of mana. All right. So we... We're gonna go back. Uh, we could get Thornmail. I think I think we'll get Thornmail. Really, really make this um, Jinx's life not fun. Literally just had a quadra in my kill. Use execute to steal my penta. I I've told this story before, but guys, I have literally never gotten a penta kill on Leona. Never once. I was playing in a normals with a full five stack. I got a quadra kill. I'm playing. I'm playing with my my IRL friend that introduced me to the the game. So this was like literally years ago. But even back then, I had like seven thousand Leona games under my belt. Never got a penta. Get the quadra kill. Now, mind you, I'm not doing like AP Leona. I'm not doing AD Leona. I'm playing real tank support Leona. I get a quadra kill. The last kill, I am about to auto attack it and get it. This trend, this this Trindamir from this bastard from hell. I still remember his name was Blueberry. Flash spins to steal the Penta. The entire Skype call goes quiet. The tension is palpable. I am probably more angry than I have ever been in League of Legends. And he, this, this, this dickhead that intentionally stole the Penta, lets out the ugliest laugh I have ever heard in my life. I'm talking <laughs> like something like that. Like genuinely just the most stomach churning, ugly laugh ever. And no one is saying a word. I I literally, I, dude, I hate him to this day. Like, like actual hatred. For oh, I, I already didn't like him. I was just hanging out with him because he was my IRL friend's friend. But yeah, to this day, I genuinely dislike that person. I think he's a bad person, man. I, uh, yeah, anyways, what was, what was I talking about? There it is, guys. A little bit of Skarner support for you. Uh, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think about the build and strat down in the comments. Now that we're starting to kind of learn the limitations of the champion, it's going a lot better. Uh, my first game on it was very, very, very awkward. I will say this is not a champion that's super easy to pick up and play. But once you, once you kind of learn it, like nah, you can, you can do this. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy, boys. Peace out.